Hello, welcome to the time series analysis project. In this project, we will work with an electricity consumption dataset. We will do the analysis of the electricity consumption and will try to predict the consumption with an autoregressive model. We will start by importing pandas. I'm closing my microphone when I'm typing something because I don't want to disturb you with the sound. Let's read our dataset with read CSV from pandas. We will set the date column as index column. Let's see the first five entry. And let's see the last five. Now we can get the numerical summary of our dataset. Okay, now we are going to increase the figure size when it will affect on when we are plotting if we use plt.show which represents matplotlib. Okay, now we can make our data visual. It looks like there's seasonality in our data. We can see it, we can see an increase starting from the beginning and ends around 2004. After that, our electricity consumption values seem stable. I'm not going to include all the time in our model, so we are going to write a code which will take the time between 1985 and 2010. Okay, let's make visual the new version. Seems nice. Now we are going to plot the yearly averages. We can expect to have a smoother graph. We will use rolling for this and our window value will be 12 in order to have yearly values.
Okay, as we expected, we have a smaller grab, and it was all for the first part. Thanks for watching. Welcome to the second part. Now we are going to add some lines to see our grab in order to see seasonality better. We will add lines to each year. Okay, sorry, I made a typo there. Now we can see the seasonality better. Let's also use seasonal decomposition. Okay, now we are going to do Dickey Fuller test for testing the stationarity in our data. We will define a function for that and our function will let us know that the stationarity is statue.
okay we are passing in series and we are getting a result from add filler and we are adding labels which will be shown in our output Okay, with this function, we can now print the values that we want. And now I'm going to write an if statement, which will do a hypothesis test with our p value. Okay, this is our function, we defined it and now we are going to use it in our data. Okay, here is our results. We are failing to reject null hypothesis and our data has unit root and its non-stationarity. Now we can train our autoregressive model. Stats models is updated and now we need to pass lag value in for training autoregressive model. So far, so for taking the best performing one in terms of AIC score, we will create a for loop which will try to try the lags between 1 and 30. Maybe it can be longer if you want. You can pass 60 or 100 if you want and add the AIC scores of models into our list, to our empty list that we are going to create. Let's see. Okay, we created our for loop. Sorry for the typos. What we did is we imported auto reg from stat models time series analysis IR model and we wrote a for loop for index in range 1 to 30. We set our model with the each leg value 
you can see legs is equal to the index which will be 1 and 30 by order and we fitted it and we added it added the AIC scores to our list by append method now we can see the best performing leg value by taking the minimum AIC score from the AIC score list output is 23 it means best performing leg value is 24 because of indexes starts with zero in python list let's see the aic score of it it is nearly 1.82 let's build our model again with 24 legs and get the summary of it Sorry for doing a lot of typos, I'm not using my computer right now, I'm not using my own keyboard, so I'm failing to type sometimes. Okay. Now we can see the coefficients and much more from our summary table. Now our task is we are going to do the forecast. We will be predicting the next two years by adding 24 months into it. I will show you how we do it. Okay, now we are going to make this information visual. This line will help on seeing the predictions better with we are going to add the legends in our plot so it's going to be easier to see. Okay, as we can see, we predicted the we predicted the two years after 2010. It was all for the time series project. Thanks for watching.